Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a 10 minute full body workout. We're gonna be doing 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest for 10 minutes. So we have 10 different exercises. I'm gonna be leaving the timer up here. We're gonna be adding in some sounds so you guys know when to change over. And then we will also be putting a voiceover so you guys can understand certain cues for these different exercises, just in case you haven't done any of these before. So you guys will be set to be able to perform these exercises precisely and get them working in those areas that we want them to be working in. Let's go. So first up we have a burpee. Just make sure with this one that when you do drop down for your push up part of it, that you are going all the way down to the ground so your chest touches and your hands release off the ground. Next up is a pistol squat. So if you are unable to do these, what we're going to do as a regression is we're going to go as low as we possibly can before allowing our second leg to join our first leg and to help you up in a normal air squat coming back up to the starting position. Then we have our three-way push-up combo. So to start with, we have diamond hands, normal push-up position, and a wide push-up position. Making sure, again, that we're trying to get our chest to the ground. A regression for this is just on our knees. Next up, we have a sprinter extension. I'm not sure of the real proper name for this exercise. However, this is what I like to call it. Making sure that when you're coming through, you're extending out through the shoulders, and when you're dropping down, you're allowing your knees to very softly touch the ground, controlling it through your quads. Next up, we have a candlestick to straight jump. Something worth noting is to always keep our core nice and tight. The regression of this is a bum raise where we lay flat on the ground and we're raising our bottom through the contraction of our abdominals. Every time we spin
Next up we have the Crossack squat. What you're wanting to do with these is to be as low to the ground as you possibly can whilst staying in control of the whole movement. exercise is a v-snap to a tuck snap something that's worth noting is that we're really trying to keep our back as low to the ground as possible so that we are really working the right spots in our core Next exercise is a shoulder tap to commando, making sure we're switching up each side with each rep that we do, keeping our core as tight as possible and as little movement as possible through our hips and legs. exercise for this workout is a lunge to hop making sure that we are extending out through that hop through our second last exercise for today is a lunge into a hop really trying to focus on our stability and control in this exercise and pushing out through the end for the day is a hip thrust to a leg extension you're going to swap up each leg for each rep really really trying to focus on an under rotation through the hips so we are targeting the glutes
can't believe I just <laughs> did that and made you guys do it. I hope you're as dead as me, honestly. That got me good. It's Queensland summer. It's hot out here. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Absolute killer. Add it on to any of your other workouts as a hit burner, as a finisher, or just do it like a normal workout like I just did. Maybe add on another six minute ab video that I've done previously. You guys are set for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh.